And the fallen agent is... Hi everyone, my name is American. Welcome to a brand new video in which I will give you my theory on who the fallen agent on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season 3 will be. Now if you don't know what the fallen agent is about, it's basically a story arc that uh, Marvel is introducing in the last four episodes of the season. So we've already had the first of the four, which was the last one. I'll put the link below where you can see our review and hear our thoughts about it. And it's basically going to go in the next three weeks, culminating in the last episode in which the fallen agent is revealed, i.e. one of the shield agents is going to die. And this is based on the prediction that Daisy slash Sky had. And we also had one of the images at the beginning of the season, we have all these Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Who is going to get it? Who is going to bite it? I'm going to share my theory on who that's going to be. First on the list, Yo-Yo and Joey. I know they're technically S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, but realistically, they're way too new, in my opinion, to the franchise, to the series. We don't really know them enough to have developed a particular bond with those agents. And while I believe that, you know, their death would qualify as a fallen Asian death, I don't think it merits a four episode arc because literally we just met. So I doubt that those two are actually going to qualify. So in my opinion, Yo-Yo and Joey, not it. Let's go on with Lincoln. Lincoln is, Lincoln is an easy one actually, because everybody would think, well, he has all these conflicts, he's just, you know, with the team and not really with the team, he's really there for Daisy, but not really for S.H.I.E.L.D., Coulson keeps questioning him all the time, and he has his temper, so it's an easy one. It's an easy one to go to and you're like, it's definitely gonna be Lincoln. At some point he's gonna do something silly or stupid, and he's gonna get himself killed. I get that, legitimate point. But, still don't think it's him. I do think that Lincoln as a character has been underutilized quite a bit. Um, there's a lot of things that we don't know about who he truly is, what he can truly be, what kind of agent he could be. I mean, imagine if he was like a real agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. He'd be a pretty badass and pretty amazing. Right now, the whole conflict of trying to get him to fit into the mold, that's still not fully resolved. So as a character, I feel there's more to tell for that storyline, so I don't think it's him. Moving on to Fitzsimmons, who have just rekindled their relationship. First of all, if they died, fandom would erupt in bloody revolt. <laughs> and the writers would have to hide somewhere because people are not ready for that. No, it's a usual trope when you have two characters get together, you find something to separate them again, maybe one of them dies. But you know what, they've already done that in a way where those two characters were separated because Fitz wasn't himself and Gemma had to, you know, infiltrate Hydra. We've done the whole separate them. Now we actually have to, you know, do the hard thing as putting them together and having an ex a relationship, you know, grow and explore that within the confines of S.H.I.E.L.D. We as fans actually want to see that and I think there's something to see there. So that story, in my opinion, is not done. So I do not believe that Fitz or Simmons are going to be it as well. Now moving on to Daisy. Daisy, who is the one who predicted this? Is she predicting her own death? Nah, I don't think that's what it is. Here's the thing, same thing with her. Her story is so freaking not done. And because of the whole hive taking over, you know, her being and not being herself and destroying S.H.I.E.L.D. She has a lot of guilt that she's gonna have to work through. There's really a lot of storylines that are gonna come out of Daisy not being under Hyde's control anymore. So in my opinion, it ain't gonna be Daisy. She ain't it. She is not the fallen agent. Which brings us to the final three. Mac, May, Coulson. Who could it potentially be? Who is going to be the fallen agent? I know a lot of you have been speculating that Mac is going to be the fallen agent because we saw in the prediction there was a cross in the sky and it could have been related to Yo-Yo, but some of you were like, yeah, Yo-Yo is going to give it to Mac and Mac is going to be in there and he's going to be the one who's dead. That's a very legitimate assumption. Actually makes a lot of sense. 
but I don't think it's him. I don't think he's a fallen agent. I'm not saying that Mac is going to be there next season, which personally, I don't think he will be unless they change his storyline quite a bit because he doesn't have much to do anymore. We've explored his story. Legitimately, it makes sense to have him get killed, but it would be honestly way too similar as Tripp's death, really. He was just a supporting uh, agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., didn't have any particular powers, but yet again, he sacrificed for the greater good. I would be extremely disappointed if they went that direction. And I give them a little bit more credit than that. So I'm going to dismiss him. I'm taking a leap here. I'm going to dismiss. I don't think Mac is it. Which leaves us with May and Coulson. Here's how I'm going to decide who is actually going to get got this season. Between May and Coulson, I think that the character who still has a lot of story to tell, who still has a lot of guilt to go through, who still has a lot to prove and a lot to work for, is May. I'm sorry, if you think about it, May has way more stuff that she needs to work through, especially with Andrew becoming lashed and all the pain and death he has caused that she feels personally responsible for. I mean, they're still trying to find him and she still hasn't worked through that particular set of pain. And also she's clearly separating herself from Coulson's approach and Coulson's way because she's calling him out on it and saying, you're not being the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. You're being Daisy's father. Whereas Coulson, what was driving him? You know, first it was Ward. Ward was driving him and he had his revenge. He went ahead and he killed Ward and now Hive is back, but he did what he was supposed to do. He avenged, you know, a budding love and there was something that was concluded there. He recreated S.H.I.E.L.D., which is something that he had to do. He did that. What's the next step for him? Where is he needed? Where is the story going? And because I don't see the next step for Coulson and because I do see the next step for May, I believe that the Fallen agent will be Phil Coulson. I know, I know. I was personally surprised when I reached that conclusion. I, am I am I right? Who knows? But that's who I think. I think Coulson is gonna fall, and I even think that May might be become the new director. <laughs> I'm gonna put it out there. I mean, I'm not so sure about that one, but I'm gonna put it out there. Yeah, yeah. Be sure, Mary. Be sure of yourself. Yeah. But anyways, guys, what do you think of my theory? Do you agree? Do you think it's going to be someone else? Comment below and let me know. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our Shield reviews. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye. Hi, everyone. My name is American. Welcome to a brand new video. <laughs> Buddy, come on. I literally just started talking. <laughs>